so here we are on the screen uh well this is a dummy website which i've already created for just the demonstration purposes this is a free version i have not bought the domain name or anything for this particular website yeah so before adding that particular as um a lot of people already know what is an embedded tweet but for the ones who don't let me just quickly show you i have yeah so any particular blog you go there is a tweet which is you know uh, inserted in the middle of any post or something over there you will see a follow button like this a follow or mention it depends on the cta which the blogger has chosen to add but uh, uh, that is called as an embedded tweet that is when uh, a person will come on your particular blog and if they like that article they can go ahead and share your article through their tweet so this will redirect them to their own profile and they can go ahead and retweet or tweet your uh, article on their timeline so how to add that actually there were a lot of videos which were uh, with regard to the uh, wordpress websites and the shopify tutorials but i really found it difficult for finding any tutorials on the wix website so i have just made this one uh, which might be helpful for you guys so i'm just going to click on blogs and click on manage posts now um i'm sorry about the internet it's a bit slow yeah so over here as you can see there are dummy blogs which wix has already provided i have not written all, all of these i'm going to click on edit after i click on edit now you need to choose which is the best place you want to you know uh, put the embedded tweet into generally i would suggest uh, putting it after maybe two paragraphs or maybe like you know in the middle of the article so that the user is already engaged in your content and plus it is just a minute of time to go ahead and share it yeah so this is the place i want to place my tweet over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on my twitter website my twitter account and i've already selected the tweet which i want to embed all i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the drop down over here and you'll see a embed tweet option just simply click on that now when you click on that you'll get this code just need to copy this particular code the code has been copied and on this addition button where you add the photos videos and links you'll have to click on the insert html code when you click on the insert html code it will redirect you to the pencil like option you need to click on it and simply copy paste and save now once you hit the save button it will uh, you know look like this you can either over here as you can see the width of the tweet is not that it should take the full entire screen i'm going to adjust it so 504 looks good for me yeah that's about it now i can't hit the publish button because this website is not live but yes after you click on the publish button whenever a user comes on your website he or she will see this particular tweet the moment they click on the tweet they will be redirected to their own profile where they can share your article now another thing i wanted to tell you over here is um it might be common but it just came to my notice so i just want to include it now like this tweet we have tweeted this so i've got an embedded code now what about if for example if you want to uh, you know embed your twitter account over here so over for that particular purpose there is another way you can do it the url is publish.twitter.com forward slash hash over here you can again just go ahead and paste any particular url from twitter which you want you know an embedded code for so for me i want an embedded code for my profile that is the bearded geek uh all i'm going to do is simply just copy this url of my profile with the username and i'm going to add it over here and click on the arrow 
Now, after you click on the arrow, it will ask you two, two options, whether you want to, you know, uh, embed the tweet in the timeline or you just want a tweet button, a short tweet button. So I want it to be actually in the timeline. I'm going to click on that, the copy code, and it's the same way. Now, for example, if you wanted to add it on the Twitter button, now you need to mention which buttons you want to uh, add. I'm going to select follow. The moment I select follow, it will give me a code. Again, I will go on my Wix editor, add the HTML. It's the same procedure which you need to follow. And I'm gonna click here. Now, this is a format now, for example, again, uh, the last time I remember it was 504. But this time it might be short because it's just a follow button. Wix um, editor can get a bit annoying sometimes. Now, what I am going to do is, this is a follow button, so Control Z. Yeah, and I'm going to add this like this. Oops, sorry. I think the spacing is a bit uh, different. One second. We should just make it no. I think uh, 190 would be enough. 165 bot. I mean, it's becoming too. Yeah. So me for me, it looks pretty much good and neat. This is how you can add it now. Any particular time a user clicks on this button they will go and you know they will be able to share your tweet and once you're done with that you can just click on publish once you hit on publish it will start appearing on your website so yeah these are the ways you can embed a tweet on your blog posts as i've said previously there were not a a, a lot of uh, videos regarding the wix website so i decided to make this one let me know how did you find this video if it was helpful Please, please, please do not uh, forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would be all from my end. We'll meet the other time. Thank you.